lot of people try to become popular by trying to declare that they know the date of Jesus Christ's second coming. Is it possible? That's the huge question. If we can clearly know the biblical basis for this, probably many of the preachers would be found to be guilty of leading the crowd into the wrong directions. The simple statement from Mark chapter 13 verse 32, we can understand nobody can know the date of the second coming of Jesus Christ. When Jesus made that statement so profoundly, if anybody else claims that I know the date, they are actually making Jesus Christ a liar because Jesus said nobody knows that. And if somebody comes and says, I know it, that means the Bible is wrong. That means Jesus Christ is wrong. Therefore, the concept of second coming itself is a, a big issue. It's a question that is prevalent. So my friends, nobody can know the date of the second coming of Jesus Christ. But what can we understand further? That's what we'll discuss today. Further, let me tell you one thing. If somebody says that Jesus Christ is going to come after five years, that is not a guarantee that you and I will be living all these five years. So who, what guarantee is there that we are going to survive that long? Based on that, let us look at the illustrations, the examples that have been given regarding the second coming of Jesus Christ. The analogy that was used is something like this, like a thief in the night. From this, we can understand this. A thief will come when you are off guard, when you are not actually thinking about it. And the second thing, you don't know when he's going to come. So this analogy has been used to educate us, to warn us that we should be always be watchful, always be careful because we do not know when Jesus Christ is going to come. Therefore, based on this, two important lessons. Number one, we do not know when Jesus Christ is going to come. Number two, we must be watchful and be prepared every time.